Welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Today I wanted to go over a few of the software programs that we get requests for all the time on astronomyforum.net and just give the beginners an idea of what some of these free software programs are that they can download right off the internet at no cost and use in their astronomy hobby. So the first one I want to show you is a planetarium program that a lot of amateur astronomers use, and that's called Cartes du Ciel, or Star Chart. So let's open up Star Chart right now. <clears throat> Give it a second to open up here. And as you can see, we've got a great representation of the night sky, day sky, and... What I also want to show you is that uh, if you hold down the shift key, the shift key, and then left click and hold it, you can move the sky around. And a little trick with this program. So hold, keep holding the shift key down and press and hold the left mouse button, and you can rotate this field of view of the sky to basically any direction that you'd like to look at. The next thing I want to show you about Cartes du Ciel is that, of course, with all planetarium programs, the very first thing you need to do is set your location. In other words, what is your observing site? This is very important or you're going to get a completely wrong view of the night sky if you don't set this up. So in Cartes du Ciel, you can see in a little observatory icon right here. If you'll click that, you'll come to a map and uh, a way to put in your latitude and longitude numbers. In that way, uh, you can uh, tell the program that this is where you want to be. Be sure to click apply right down here so it'll apply these latitude and longitude numbers uh, as a permanent default so that every time you open it, it opens it up to the correct latitude and longitude. So Cartes du Ciel, very good program. You can also control a telescope using this uh, software package. And I've controlled several scopes uh, in the past using Cartes du Ciel and the proper uh, cabling uh, from the, my laptop over to the telescope mount. So very good program, lots of features, many catalogs that you can download for free and install here and use different catalogs like Double Stars, Messier Lists, etc., etc., so it's got tons of features, and it's free. So go on out there and Google Cartes du Ciel and download version 3 into your machine for free and start using it. It's a very neat program that you can basically get for free. The next program that I'd like to show you is one that I use virtually every time that uh, Telescope Man goes outside to observe. I always bring with me an observing list of objects that I want to take a look at. And I print this off using a free software package called rtgui.com is where you can get it rtgui.com and that stands for real-time graphic user interface so let's click this icon and the little program pops up this is kind of a neat setup it's got some great search features for various types of objects but what's really neat about it is you can quickly set up your latitude and longitude numbers to wherever your observing site uh, happens to be and you can change the date or the time uh, for when you're going to go out and observe and print this list off ahead of time. So 
Let's suppose I was going to go out tonight on the 14th. I could click the time and change it to something like uh, 20 hours and we'll leave that alone one minute and so many seconds okay so now the time reads uh, about eight o'clock at night so it'll be quite dark at eight o'clock at night tonight so i'll get a good observing list for tonight simply by changing the time but i could also do an observing list for next week or next month or whatever just by changing the date the same way that I change the time. So what you do once you have your date and time set up is you come down here and click Best of Sky. And it's going to give you one object as Best of Sky. And if you kept clicking this, it would run through those objects one at a time with the next suggestion here. As you can see, now it's showing me M27. If I click it again, I get M31, Andromeda Galaxy, so forth and so on. But what you really need to do is come right here where it says Save Matches and click that and it's going to run through the whole entire list of objects. And it's found 50 objects for that date and time. And it says you want to view the list and I say yes. And it's given me now a nice, uh, nicely prepared observing list for tonight at about 8 o'clock, starting with Jupiter, and then with M27, and, and M31, and so forth. The trick is to print this off in landscape mode rather than portrait mode because it, it's more easily read in landscape mode. So just come up here and click File, Page Setup, Landscape Mode, say OK, and then you can just go ahead and print it, and you're going to get a very nice observing list for tonight, or for any night that you select, uh, from RTGUI. I always carry one of these out in the field with me, so when we're looking we're wanting to know what might be up that we can observe. I've got a nice list already prepared uh, that tells me various objects, including double stars, that might be up tonight. Notice the information it's giving you here on, let's look at M27. It gives you the constellation it's in. It tells you what kind of object it is. It's a uh, planetary nebula. It's also known as NGC 6853, or better known as the Dumbbell Nebula. It's going to be up about 22 degrees at this particular time. At this azimuth location, mag 7.4 and here's the right ascension and declination of the dumbbell nebula at that time so i've got all the information i need on this uh, piece of paper to determine if first i i can even visually see the object based on the magnitude and uh, where it's located at if i want to try to hunt it down uh, keep in mind that the other part of this program that's kind of neat is that it only lists objects that are brighter than magnitude 10. So um, generally you can uh, see most of the objects that listed here. If you have any type of reasonably dark skies, you'll be able to find them. So again, RTGUI available at rtgui.com. Another really good free software package for you budding amateur astronomers out there. So with that, I'd like, as I always do, wish y'all clear skies and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later.